Well, if you couldn't tell by my hair, I voted for Bernie Sanders. So, thank you. Let's get that out of the way. I haven't watched the news recently. Did we do it? Did we? How's he doing? You doing okay? Yeah, I know. It's, the, the loss was tough. Whatever. Uh, but my hair is multifunctional, you know? Because I look like a Bernie Sanders supporter from the front, but from behind, a young Hillary Clinton. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Hey. I'm with her. I'm with him. Hi. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to start like that. Trump makes a lot of sense. If you don't think about it. That should be his slogan, right? I'm running for president, no more questions, okay? Uh, trust me, you know? Actually, I'll be honest, I was a fan when I first heard he was running for president because I heard his tax plan. And his tax plan is if you make less than $25,000 a year and you're not married, you don't have to pay any taxes, Woo! right? So I was like, hey, you got the comedian vote right there. <laughs> Lonely poor guys for Trump. Uh, I, I just moved to the West Coast from New York City. Oh, you guys have heard of it. Great, yeah. That's a good time. Um, it's a trash town, though. <laughs> have you guys ever been to New York? It's disgusting. It's gross. There's trash everywhere. But we own it. We're proud of it. You know, like... Our biggest celebrity last year was a rat carrying around a pizza. You know, like, you fucking, you get it. But then I moved to Los Angeles, and it's so clean in comparison. I'm like, where do you guys hide all your trash? And then I talked to a few people that have lived in LA for a while, and I'm like, oh, you hide all your trash in your hearts. Like, right, good to know. Very green of you. Just buried in there, and then I got another commercial audition to go to, and then you uh, explode. I think that's what happens. You explode. Hopefully, before you turn 40, you just explode. Um, I like smoking weed, so it's good being out here, guys. Uh, it's a good move on my part. Um, because I couldn't find good weed in New York. The only weed I found was called Subway Paranoia Kush. That's all we had. It's too powerful. Um, but now out here on the west coast there's so many different types of weed I didn't know that it's great it's like depending on how you want to feel right like we got this purple weed you can smoke that it gives you like a body high we got yellow weed you can smoke that it gives you like a giggly high we got white weed you can snort it, it gives you an energy high oh yeah oh there's some good weed out here holy shit there's some good weed out here. I snorted so much weed I did all the weed. Uh, me and weed go way back, guys. In fact, my first ever experience with marijuana was smelling it around the house when I was a kid. You know? And I was too young to know what that smell was. All I knew is that my dad would go into the bathroom for 20 minutes and then come out smelling like cool dad. Hey, mom is gone and cool dad's here. I make 300 pancakes. We gotta eat them. <laughs> oh, Jason, we gotta eat these pancakes. It's weird when your dad calls you bro. It's just a weird feeling. You know, like, I don't know how we're related now. You know? But cool dad was way more fun than regular dad. Like, he was awesome. Like, like regular dad would sleep in on Christmas morning. But cool dad would wake me up excited because he legitimately forgot what he wrapped the night before. <laughs> As a cool dad. Uh, I have a teenage little brother and he's a piece of shit. Because um, every time I go home, he like teases me. He's like, hey, Jason, you're a stand-up comedian, but why aren't you famous yet, huh, dude? I'm like, I don't know. You're a teenager. Why haven't you seen a girl naked yet, huh, dude? Boom. Right? Yeah, and then he shows me his text messages. He's doing way better than I am. <laughs> It's, it's gross. <laughs> uh, he's got shitty taste in music, too. Uh, he, he likes Justin Bieber. Uh, do you remember last year when Justin Bieber got in trouble for egging his neighbor's house? 
Yeah, right? I mean, it's a shitty thing to do, but I don't know what the big deal is. He's known for smash hits. Uh. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That was for the comics only. That joke was for the comics only. <laughs> that joke was worth $5. I, I wish I got more laughs out of it. All right, I'm going to end my set with a couple characters for you guys. Hope that's all right. Uh, this first character is called an insecure jock jam. All right, this is an insecure jock jam. Here we go. <clears throat> Sorry, are you guys not ready for this? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was not forced at all. Thank you so much. Uh, Alright, my last character, and then I'm going to get out of here. Uh, this guy is called the first Italian man to ever talk with his hands. Okay, the first Italian man to ever talk with his hands. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, who's the son of a bitch? that put super glue all over my fingertips, eh? <laughs> what is this? Vinny, is this you? I look like a fucking idiot over here. Look at this. I got my pasta later. Oh, you guys should have laughed at that last character more if I were you. He studied really hard on that jock jam joke. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. I'm Jason Sides. Have a good night. Take care. Give it up more time for Jason Carlos. Thanks.